Google Summer of Code was such a learning experience for me. Hey guys, I'm Sunit Roy and this is my experience in GSOC 2021 in TensorFlow. I just noticed that the year is about to end and I still haven't wrote any blog on my GSOC experience and I feel sharing my experiences and learnings will be valuable to many folks as it is very uncommon for a second year diploma polytechnic student who didn't knew anything about coding just a year ago was fully into dance to do all of this so basically in this video i will share the projects that i worked on experience working with google engineers and ml google developer experts and post gsoc what's happening in may selected students in gsoc was announced i was so sure that i won't get selected for gsoc as when i applied for gsoc i was working in a startup I didn't had much time to make the best proposal. Also, I have never contributed to TensorFlow till then, and I even did not had a great open source profile, as I was not much active there. And all of the videos in YouTube suggest you to start contributing at least seven eight months before GSOC. So in that sense, I was already out of the game. So I knew I won't get selected, but I still checked the student list to see who are the folks who got selected. While scrolling through TensorFlow accepted GSOC student list, I saw Sunit Roy there, and the project was also the same. I was still not believing that it's me, so I went to see the project description, and to my surprise, it was me. I was selected. I felt really awesome. In my GSOC period, I worked on three apps: BertQ on Android, BertQ on iOS, and Text Classification Android. In all of these apps, the task was to designing and recreating the TensorFlow Lite example apps to use Google's new TF Lite task library, which was announced in TensorFlow Dev Summit 2020. So, what is TF Lite task library? TensorFlow Lite task library contains a set of powerful and easy to use specific libraries for app developers to create ML experiences with TF Lite. It provides optimized out of the box model interfaces for popular machine learning task such as image classification text classification question answers etc don't get overwhelmed task library basically makes it easier for you to use tf lite models in your android or ios apps first app that i worked on was bertq on android it was a tf lite app which answers question based on the content of a given passage i updated the app to use task library and wrote the required documentation and the second app bertq on ios was quite similar to the first app but on ios this was the first time when i was writing swift code which was not just for fun i have to mention a bhaiya from linkedin helped me on this which was really kind in july we had our first evaluation my mentor megna was quite happy with the work i did so i surely passed the first evaluation after the first evaluation we worked on text classification android app it actually classifies the input text into different categories like positive and negative i updated the app to use the latest task library and wrote the required documentation and i also designed the app to switch between nl classifier and bert nl classifier api which are two different apis for nl classification and that was it in september jisok ended and i successfully passed my final evaluation Jisok was such a learning experience for me. This is where I got to meet and work with some people whom I have just watched in YouTube videos and LinkedIn till then. I learned a lot from my mentor Megna, who is a software engineer in Google, California. She is a great mentor. She gave me advice on how to write better and cleaner code, how to get better in communications. She also gave me advice on how to do better in daily life. And we also had a lot of fun in this Jisok. I'm also very grateful to other mentors like Margaret, George, Lu Yang and the TF Lite team also helped me a lot. They are really supportive. They helped me to solve lots of my programming problems. It was awesome to work with them. It's been few months that Jisok has ended. I'm still in touch with the TF Lite team and one of my TF Lite open source project recently got added to awesome TF Lite and Google Dev library. I'm personally a big fan of the technology and the community. And if I talk about the Jisok program, I learned a lot through this program. What I wouldn't have if I had not participated in it. We had a WhatsApp group of all Jisokers, where there were so many like-minded and bright folks who were eager to learn and have fun. And I highly recommend everyone to apply to Jisok. 
If you find this video valuable, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. And see you in the next video.